what's up guys this is the mad review today I want to go over uh, a little bit of information um, they have released a patch and I'm playing hardcore kill confirmed and the patch pretty much kind of fucked me and fucked you guys over um, and I want to kind of explain that they gave us hardcore kill confirmed which hardcore kill confirmed isn't a bad game mode um, but they took away one of the most fun the most fun game modes they took away hardcore free-for-all now I know there's a lot of you guys and I'm probably fucking killed right there there's a lot of guys that never played hardcore free-for-all or there's a lot of guys that's not into the whole hardcore free-for-all deal um, let me try to get this guy's fucking dog tags. Kill confirmed. Got it. Now, kill confirmed is a is a pretty cool game mode. I mean, I will give it that. But when you're talking about free for all and and you're wanting to fucking run around and have a good time and maybe talk a little smack to the other team or to to everybody in the whole damn room, usually you could always find a competitive match. You know, um, and now they've took that away. Which I think is fucking bogus, man. I think it's really... Well, I think it's really fucked me over. It's fucked you guys over. Um, and I know there's probably a lot, a lot of you who played Free For All. But guys, uh, anytime they remove something, you've lost a little bit of what you paid for. Friendly hunter killer and when the deployed. game came out, it had Hardcore Free For All. And it should have stayed in the game. That actually took away one of my main Friday highlights. I couldn't couldn't get a couldn't get a free for all up. Um, and now it's kind of ruined my whole my whole plan as well as or my schedule. And um, that's that's pissed me off, man. It's it's really fucking pissed me off. And you, I don't know what to say. I mean, you can. You can say you can call Activision, you can bitch, you can post on forums, man, you can post on Twitter, and we're talking about Activision, and if any of you guys have never dealt, this fucker sniping, if any of you guys have never fucking dealt with Activision, I have, uh, now with Activision, they're corporate, man, it's a big corporation, you're not going to get through to them to where they're going to give a flying fuck about you. Uh, I had a lot of issues with Activision uh, a few years back with some unlockable content that never unlocked. And, um, dude, you better not fucking team kill me. Something I hate about fucking care packages, man. You get fucks that always try to take your shit. Counter UAV on standby. Counter UAV inbound. What the fuck was that? Anyway. UAV but you got... You got... UAV they don't care much, man. I mean, you know, it's about the money. It's a money game, you know. It's not about, hey, our, our fans love this, our fans love that. It's, hey, we see most people playing this, we see most people playing that. I don't give a fuck what you see. I paid for this motherfucking game to have hardcore free for all I don't give a fuck if they you know you have 3,000 people and that's all that ever fucking plays it those are 3,000 fans you know you're taking away 3,000 fans fucking shit man I mean you're fucking over 3,000 people and it's like saying we don't give a fuck about you 3,000 we you know we'll do whatever the fuck we want and that's true you can do whatever the fuck you want because it is your game. You did design the motherfucker. And if anybody wants to have a fucking modern com you know, competitive fucking shooter, you have to rely on Call of Duty. It's the only one that seems to kind of come out with the new shit, you know, every fucking God dang it. Every fucking every great once in a while. You know, they pull off something that's sweet and new and innovative. Um, with this game they've added a lot of new shit and I'm not gonna go into it. Yeah, on a level, certain level, it's a fucking remake. But, yet again, they did add some stuff to the game. 
Um, and I never understood this, man. And I've fucking said this for years. With... There's a guy. Ooh, there's a guy too, though. Let's see. Let's say I fucking lost one kill to get another fucking kill. Kill confirmed. Um, what I've said for fucking years is they should always, always just make like one baseline Call of Duty. Just say, we're talking about Call of Duty. Just say they make a Call of Duty game, right? I should have had that fucking guy. So they make a Call of Duty game, and the motherfucker, primarily, with every year, you have to buy the expansion. And the expansion would actually upgrade and change the game. Not even take away from the game, but actually add more to it. Where you can actually select and play the expansions. Lightning strike These consoles the now are pretty much PCs. They'll do every Lightning fucking confirmed. thing about... Not everything a PC can do but just about everything a PC can do and so that's one thing I, I've never understood Look at that fuck just standing there Kill confirmed. that's one thing that I've never the fucking RNR. understood why Kill they confirmed. haven't fucking just done that you know what I mean and, made, and you know we're talking about eco-friendly environmental friendly I don't know fuck shit. but uh UAV inbound but when it comes to eco-friendly, environmentalist friendly, you know, a lot of people Be advised, lost kill. Hunter killer drone inbound. But you know, a lot of people, RCXD you know, if, if it, that's what it's moving to as an all digital age, man. Everything's moving digital. You know, all this shit where uh, people's fucking going to be buying stuff, the hard copies. For a long time, man, I was all about the hard copies of stuff. And... And the more that I actually fucking, I, I see the benefits, I can't find nobody with a piece of shit. The more I see the benefits of actual downloads, you know, the better off we'll all be. Because, other than me paying attention to this fucking game, we'll all be better off once they actually make a move like that. And it needs to move in that direction. But, that's my fucking rant and rave. Me getting fucking shot and killed. Let me actually change up my gun a little bit. But I mean, I, I want to know what you guys think, man. What do you guys think about... Should everything move that way? Where you basically primarily buy the game itself? And then... You, fuck. You buy the game itself, and then you buy the expansions, which actually... Every year... Yeah, dude, come on, come on, come on. And every year it basically expands your experience and adds more content instead of actually taking away the content Kill from confirmed. us. Kill confirmed. You know, I'm thinking that would be the better move. Uh, and granted, broadband internet's actually pretty much everywhere nowadays. Um, it's not something that, you know, um, that doesn't exist in most areas. Uh, so, and, and release release the DLC that night at midnight you know or makes you know have a website where you get, give out tickets for specific times to start downloading have contests you know uh, be creative you know come up with something and this is you know something along those lines man to improve the whole gaming genre man I mean it everything's pushing to consoles man consoles will and and I will say this, consoles will outperform PCs eventually. I mean, I, I'm not saying they're doing it now, but they will. Um, you know, pretty much, it, it, consoles are computers. And a lot of people don't like to agree. And I'm walking on fucking sh sh broken glass right now because of... I know there's a, a world of PC of PC gamers out there, and you know I have nothing but res the utmost respect for you guys. Um, you know you guys deserve all the games the same as the console gamers, but uh, not everyone can afford a fucking thousand dollar PC. You know it's just not something that everyone can afford. Um, UAV on standby. And so, oh shit! How about how these care package? I got my own. Yeah. But guys, this is the mad review. Like I said, this game's about over.
Um, if you're not subscribed to me by now, um, click that subscribe link, man. I appreciate any and all subscribers, uh, from the little guys all the way to the big guys, man. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, you guys are what actually keeps me going, man. Um, and I, like I said, I appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this, man. So, um, again, this has been the Mad Review. Uh, take your time you to rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell, tell a couple of your friends about me, man. Uh, if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed my, my little episode, um, refer me to a friend. I appreciate it. This has been the Mad Review. Till next time, guys.